Amidst all the diplomatic efforts, Israeli strikes are continuing continuing to intensify in Gaza. Despite promises of a more targeted operation, there are reports that Israeli strikes hit civilian areas in southern and central Gaza in the past 24 hours itself, killing scores of people yet again. At least 20 people were killed after a strike hit a two-story building in the central Gaza city of Deir al-Bala. According to officials from the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital, the Palestinian Red Crescent said four of its staffers were killed in the city when their ambulance was hit by an Israeli strike. On the other hand, the Israeli military says it has found evidence that hostages were present in an underground tunnel in the city of Khan Yunus in southern Gaza. They claim to have found hostages' remains, including their DNA inside the tunnel. Huge raids were came, coming out from Khan Yunus on the 7th of October. They all came back here and they used this tunnel system in order to survive, embed themselves. As you see here, we are in a neighborhood. Embed themselves in the civilian neighborhood in order to make it impossible for the IDF, unless he does a ground operation, to fire at this area or try to rescue the hostages in, his, in this area. Meanwhile, as per reports, a senior Hamas official has said that hostages held in Gaza will not return alive unless Israel meets the militant group's demands. It is believed that 132 hostages abducted by Hamas on the 7th of October, they still remain in Gaza, but not all of them are alive. Protests and prayers for hostage release continue in Israel. Several gathered at the Tel Aviv Museum of Art on Wednesday for an event hosted by the family of one of the hostages still held in Gaza. While these are the scenes from Jerusalem, Israelis gathered along the Western Wall on Wednesday to pray for the release of Hamas hostages. Shifting focus to the aid situation in Gaza. Israel says that sufficient aid is entering Gaza and that there is no food shortage in the territory. The statement comes after UN agencies accused Israel of denying a planned mission to supply aid to Gaza. Israeli officials, on the other hand, have blamed international aid groups for struggling to process and receive the aid. The World Health Organization pleaded with Israel on Wednesday to allow aid access as it said the Gaza situation is indescribable. The barrier to delivering humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza is not the capabilities of the UN, WHO or our partners. The barrier is access. We call on Israel to approve requests by WHO and other partners to deliver humanitarian aid. We continue to call for a ceasefire.